Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are unstuffing or consolidating some of our savings binders. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Jordan. We love doing cash stuffings on this channel. We on occasion do cash unstuffings. We chat about our budget. I am a homeschooling single mom of two little boys and I will occasionally talk about the budget and some of the process of running an Etsy shop and YouTube full time. This video though, we are going to focus on the these binders, these are savings challenge binders or our sinking funds. I have recently broken up these accounts into a quarterly binder, a yearly binder, and a long-term binder. If you are not new around here, thank you for returning. Thank you for being a part of the budget fam. You guys know I absolutely love making these videos. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. What we're doing is, as you can see, we have placeholder or fake money here today. All of this is fake money. I'm not adding any new money or real money into the accounts today. What we're gonna do is I like to put placeholder money in place of larger bills that I'm bringing to the bank. So I do have one savings account where I combine all of my money that I have placeholder money in these accounts for. I don't like to have money just sitting in the bank where I can spend it, but I do have one savings account because I also don't like tons of accounts tons of a cash, tons of cash accumulating around my house. So what I do is once every month, once every two months, I will go through and I will take out some of the 50s and the 20s, I'll bring them to the bank, I'll put placeholders in their stead, and then the money's out of the house, but we're still kind of accounting for it in these binders. Did that make sense? I hope that it made sense. We're gonna go ahead and start with our long-term goals binder because these are things that we should not need physical cash to grab anytime soon. Here's my thinking. The quarterly goals is stuff that may come up a little bit sooner. It's gonna come up at the end of the quarter, ideally, but maybe a little sooner. So if we run out of placeholder money, my thought is at least this money is going somewhere soon anyway. The long-term savings money definitely does not need to get spent or pulled to use in any way anytime soon, neither does the yearly binder. So what we're doing here is we're just gonna start with this binder. 50, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. Just like that, we have $300 in real cash. We are gonna put $300 in placeholder money. This placeholder or fake money is from the Etsy shop Hands and Bands. I will be launching my own placeholder money within this month. You guys may know that my website has been giving me a headache. I've been in the process of building a jordanbudgets.com. It is now launched, it is now secure. So everything is good on the website. I'm still connecting jordanbudget.com but that should happen within the next couple of days. So why am I saying all this? Oh, I'm saying all of this about the website because it has been a time suck or a time drainer. So, you know, like projects are coming in slowly. I do plan on though within this month launching my own placeholders. So keep an eye out for that. Okay, so for emergency savings, 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. So we have 300 here. Let's go ahead and grab 300 in placeholder money. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Let's trade all of this for the 50. At the end of this video, we will count everything that we have here. Now, again, it's not like new money or anything, but if you find that fulfilling or fun in some way, we are gonna do that. How are you guys doing on this beautiful Monday? I am not actually yet in Monday. I guess I am. So it's Sunday night, but it's midnight. So like I am in Monday, I guess. <laughs> Um, but I am excited about Monday because I'm spending the day with my boys. My sons are both now healthy, so I really want to spend some time with them and get out of this house. We have been self-quarantining for the last few days, and I'm ready to get out of the house. I'm just so ready to get out of the house. So I'm going to take the boys out. We're going to have some fun. It is a Monday, but we are homeschoolers, so what am I doing? Okay, we're taking back this 100. We're putting the 250s over here. Something I like to do, which you guys can do it however you want, but I love to keep, if it's like 50 and under bills, I like it to be real money. If it's 100 and up, like say 100 placeholder, a 500, a 1000, I like all of that to be placeholder or fake money. So then I never get confused on what is real and what isn't, because like some 
of this play money looks real. It's not. Retirement, 50, 100, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Let's just keep this easy on me. And there we go. So we've consolidated these bills in retirement. We now have 200, 50, 65. I like to do this too because you guys know I count these bills so much. I start to get so lost and I don't know what number I'm on. I get confused counting. So whenever I consolidate these, it's able to just help me keep track of what I'm counting and what I'm doing on camera for you guys too. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I might need to go grab some more placeholders already. So 120, 35, that is as consolidated as it's gonna get. So anyway, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day for us. I'm excited to get out with the boys. I hope that you guys have some fun plans or at least that work is being nice to you. 100 envelope savings challenge. Let's see what we have in here. I know we already have some placeholders. I'm curious if we're gonna be able to put a 500 placeholder in here. We do have $2,000 in here for placeholder money already. I'm curious if we have enough for a 500. Doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and grab one, two, 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 70, 90, 300, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 47 dollars. So let's do 40. 5, 46, 47. So we have $47 there. Am I giving you guys anxiety with <laughs> the stack of money over here? Let's just keep it there for now. So we do have $2,000 in the bank already for the 100 envelope savings challenge. This is the biggest savings challenge that we have going on. So it feels nice that this is accumulating the way that it is. It would be so nice to have this completely done by the end of the year. We will see. So we have 2000 one two, three, four, 20, 40, five, 46, 47. So it looks like a little more than $50 away from being able to use a 500 placeholder slip. That will be cool. So summer camp for the boys. We already have some placeholders in here. One, two, 50, 70, 90, 100, 20, 40, 50, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So let's grab a 20. All right, so summer camp. Summer camp now has one, two, 300 in the bank, 350, 75. $375 towards next year's summer camp. I've got to say, if we're able to hold on to this money, we are doing pretty good because by the by next summer, we need 2,000, and it feels nice to already be on our way to covering that. Florida, we have 50, 70, 90, 100. Okay, so I went and grabbed some more 100 placeholders. So then we have 20, 40, 60. So let's go ahead and grab a 50. Is there a 10 here? Here's a 10. For our Florida trip, maybe next summer? Maybe at the end of the winter? I don't know. We will see on that one. 150, 65, 100. And 65. Isn't it so much nicer when I can count the amount of money in here? I love when that happens. So back to school, there's probably not much we can consolidate here. Yeah, we just have $15 in back to school. We did recently restart this challenge, of course, because we did just go back to school and do a lot of shopping. There's only a 20 and happy birthday because I did just pull all of that money for the boy's birthday. The only thing I'm needing to save for is a cake. I saw, who was it? Somebody recommended Costco on the last video to, 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 to check out their sheet cakes. I tried to mix that whole sentence into one word. If you have any idea offhand how much something like that is, let me know. I have always done family parties and gone way over the top. I've always done just like invite close family. You know, maybe there's 12 to 15 of us. We celebrate the boys and I don't have to pay for a venue because it's at the house and I will go all out on like a nice cake or I will make a ton of food and buy a ton of food. I will decorate like nobody's business, but because we spent, I think it was like $400 for just the venue alone. I am, I'm going, I'm going cheap. And the place that we're going, the kids are going for the experience. They are not going to be caring about the food or the cake. Really? It's just one of those places, right? So I, I don't know, 20, $40. I can't imagine 
a sheet cake from Costco or somewhere would be too expensive, but let me know if you bought one from there. I'm gonna need something for maybe 30 kids, 25 kids. Christmas, 50, 100. Let's grab a placeholder, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200. 5, 10, 15, 20. So we have $220 going towards Christmas. Triple A, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. We are actually out of 100 placeholders though. So let's grab a couple of 50s. Unless something gets freed up, that might just be what we have to do. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm actually just gonna put a 20 in here. So what I like to do, which might be a little bit obnoxious, is once this money is in the savings account, I like to go back through all of my binders. These three binders will have placeholder money in them. I will count all of my placeholder money and make sure what's in that savings account lines up with the money that's in the savings account. So I just now traded $19 for a 20. So it's going to be off by like a few dollars by the end of this most likely. So then I'll just add from my regular account, I will add $3 to my savings account or whatever I'm off by. Maybe something happened and I accidentally put 100 where there wasn't supposed to be 100. I just make sure it all lines up so I know what I'm actually working with. Okay, so we have 120 in triple A, which I think is what triple A is for the year and that should be coming around soon pool. Let's consolidate the tens, which is all we really can do. And now we have $26 towards pool supplies, chlorine, that kind of stuff for next year. So one more binder. We are zooming on through this 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. So let's grab 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, so the most we can do, again, because we don't have any more placeholders, maybe in about a month, once my placeholders are out too, we will go back through these and put my placeholders in here, and we will get to get rid of some of these other 50s and stuff. I just don't have that many placeholders in my house right now. New clothes has 50, 100, 50, 70, 90, 91, 92. 192 towards new clothes. So a couple of you commented that I colored in the two and I was supposed to color in the three today. Does not surprise me at all. Thank you for catching that. I don't know. I... <laughs> I just start talking and doing things and that's what happens. Okay, so roll the dice, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Let's go ahead and find a 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you 50, 60, $1 towards roll the dice. One month ahead. Oh, I think this one has a lot if I remember from earlier because I was excited about it. 50, 100, 50, 70, 90. So let's see if we can get rid of some 20s at least. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So here's 100. 20, 40, 60, 80. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Do I have an, I need two more 50s. There they are, okay. 50, 50, 10, 20, 30, five. So let's get a 20. 50, 150, 200, 50, 350. Oh, I'm so close to being able to use a 500 slip on this one. 50, 150, 250, 300. I've got 400 here. 450, 70, 95. Guys, we're going to do it just so I can get all of this money out of the house. I'm just going to have to balance this account a little later. I think that was $5 difference. So we let's go ahead and put this here. Does that make us... Okay, guys, we are going to go ahead and color in this 80. That will make our tracker accurate to 500. Oh, I already pulled. That will make our tracker accurate with like all of this is correct. I still need to add some money to my to my savings account once all this gets in. I think I was just off by $5 though, but I'm going to balance that account and make sure it happens so we can stay on track. But this would be nice to get all of this out of the house. I hate to just do this consolidation and then leave like $400 almost of cash in that binder. Let's go ahead and take it out and consolidate it. I don't know if we're gonna be able to consolidate this one. No, <laughs> we can though. Let's hunt for a better looking one because that one looks so sad. Okay, and we will take these two to the bank. The sad thing is guys that I go to the bank 
what like I go to the bank usually once a week sometimes twice a week but I go so much that I feel like they just hand me back some of the same bills constantly like you know like it just the stuff I'm trying to get rid of comes right back to me sports we have 10 15 yes we can put a 20 here is this pile giving you guys anxiety sometimes I do these and y'all are like where is your bills organizer like your money stand where is it at well I use my money stand for products now so I don't have an extra one for my videos I feel like we could thumbnail this moment though should we thumbnail together yep that's it um gifts is already consolidated snacks might be able to consolidate something let's see we recently pulled a lot of money oh no we didn't what am i talking about must have been yeah gifts we pulled a lot of money okay snacks 20 40 50 yes 50 5 10 15 let's find a 10 50 65 $65 for snack duty books. We just have like three categories left guys. And then we're going to count this money and see what we're getting to put into the bag. 20, 40, 50, 20, 40, 50. If I have one, yes. 50, 65. Also, I know that typically today would be a day that I, I'm doing like my variable binder and my bills and stuff. I am thinking about changing these binders to Monday and then on Friday we cashed up our bills and our variable binder for the next week. So let me know what you think about that. I think it would make a little bit more sense for me because my bank account tends to have a little bit more money sitting at the end of the week. I get paid on Etsy on Tuesdays. I don't know. I just feel like it would make a little bit more sense to flip flop it to pay out bills on Friday. Let me know what you guys think if you mind too much. It would still be cash stuffings on Monday and Friday. They would just be flip flopped. So this would be our typical Monday binders and then our Friday binders would be variable binder for the upcoming week. Bills also would make more sense because sometimes I've already spent some of my variable like say grocery money because I might do a grocery shopping on Saturday. I'm over explaining at this point. Let's just get to this last category field trip 50 you guys understand what i'm saying let me know what you think about it field trip 20 40 60 80 100 let's see if i have some 50s i keep saying let's see if i have 50s as if i don't have a stack of money like surely i have some 50s 20 40 60 70 80 95 so 20 40 50, 20, I think I just, I just shuffled that 20 around a couple times. Okay, 50, 150, 220, 45, 245 towards field trips with the boys. So we have gone through all of our binders. We've consolidated some accounts. We've gotten some placeholder money in here. Let's see what we pulled out and are bringing to the bank and what there is a placeholder for now what should we chat about what are you guys doing today let me know in the comments if you are a homeschooling family if you are a working mom a stay-at-home mom let me know let me know what's typically going on on your mondays i always overshare my mondays i would love to hear more from you guys in the comments on exactly what you do on most mondays are you working do you get up early does your two-year-old wake you up at two in the morning like let me know i am thinking about taking my boys to the beach today you know like tomorrow however you want to say this it's midnight sunday night early monday morning however you want to look at it i'm thinking about taking them to the beach we haven't done that in a while and the weather has been pretty nice like i don't know what's going up on with the weather i feel like it's trying to trick me because this is how i feel this time of the year when the weather changes this way i really 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 want to go camping like it's the first thing on my agenda it's always the start of the summer i want to take the boys camping and then like before it gets obnoxiously hot but like once it's finally starting to not be freezing so i'll take them camping then and you guys know i missed our camping trip at the beginning of this summer so we did end up going camping but we sort of cheated my parents bought a camping site but they also got a hotel for them and the boys because I had a lot of work going on I don't remember if I had just like launched a bunch of new stuff something was going on and I was very busy so I would go visit the campsite during the day but I did not stay the night which was nice because I didn't have to set up camp I got to come home and shower like I didn't have to wear myself 
out doing all the things it takes to survive at a campsite with little kids. And so it was great. It felt nice. My parents would take the kids back to their hotel room at the end of the night. So it was a very easy trip for all of us. Usually we're kind of roughing it in tents and stuff, or I am. Me and the boys do. My parents have had a, uh, they have a camper that they, family's using right now. So they don't have like access to it right now. So I think if we go camping soon, my parents would like to go with me. They're really good at like fishing with the boys and doing a lot of the stuff that's kind of like you know it's stuff that the kids want to do but it's not exactly something i want to do my parents are really good about doing those kind of things and like they have a fishing boat so it's really fun to go with them for the kids and for me i enjoy spending time with my parents and my family but saying all that to say the weather has been amazing here lately but i feel like it's trying to trick me because i feel like as soon as i plan a camping trip it's going to be like back to hot and sticky and sweaty Whereas lately it has been really, really nice. Like it's been really breezy. It's felt, I don't know. It's getting me excited for fall, but again, I don't know if it's just trying to trick me. All right, let's go ahead and count this money. See what we have going into the bank account. Let's split it up a little bit because that's, that's like a lot of, that's a lot of money to try to hold and like, you know, and count it. So 50, 150, 250, 350, 450, 500. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. I know I counted that weird. We're at a thousand. I made two stacks of 500. That was not planned or my intention, but that's just kind of what happened. 20, 40, Oh, no, still too much. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. Another 500 stack. Oh my God, I had no idea we had this much money in our safe at home. That, I am excited. I'm, I already counted half that and it's just not working out well. I need to get, put some of that down. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. That's, is that 500 again? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 500. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's another sack of 500, guys. <laughs> Ooh, we're, we've been doing really good on our savings challenges. I'm legitimately excited. I'm counting this right, right? One, two, three, four, five, yes, okay. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. So we have $2,084 going into our savings account so that we can get placeholder money here, which we did, and get this money moved into that account. How exciting, guys. That is so exciting. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel, being a part of this journey. I don't think you guys understand or can possibly realize or understand how much I appreciate you, how much you mean to me, how much you keep me accountable and have changed my budgeting life. If you have a channel, please go ahead and share it below. We would love to follow you and encourage you on your journey. I think this is always really fun. The community we have here in the comments, whether you have a channel or not, but the community here is amazing. And I would love to check out your channel and we would all love to encourage and support you too. All right, guys, that is it for this cash stuffing. I'm going to edit this video so that tomorrow there's like nothing that I'm behind on and I can fully enjoy the day with my boys. If nobody said it to you yet today, I sure do love you guys. I appreciate you. I hope that you are having a wonderful Monday and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.